Welcome back everyone, this is Recon Stewart and we are continuing our CU tutorial series where we're trying to learn every page on this CDU for the A10C in DCS. Uh, we've got two uh, pages left and we're done. So let's move on to the offset page. Uh, let's go ahead and click on FSK offset and it'll take us to this page here. The offset page allows calculations from an initial point to another point, uh, a set of coordinates, or a point to find a heading distance from the initial point. In this way, you can compute displacements between two points. Uh, this is most commonly used with bullseye calls, which some people are already familiar with. So the first thing you have to do is select the initial waypoint, and then select the offset waypoint, um, LSK R9, which is here, coordinate LSK L7 L9 here, or entered heading and distance, which would be LSK5, line 5. So initial entry select allows you to select and enter an initial waypoint from a scratch pad, either entering a waypoint number, uh, alphabetical character from a mark point, or typing in the waypoint's name. So the best and easiest way that I know to do it is we're going to use bullseye. So I'm going to type in bullseye and I'm going to select LSK left 2 and enter my bullseye. Bullseye is waypoint 2049 and we're currently in lat long coordinates but I could change those to UTM coordinates if I so desired. And what we would want to do is enter an offset or a heading distance from bullseye to a known uh, target that we were trying to locate. And what we would do is like AWACS would say you've got tanks at bullseye such and such. So let's look at our F10 map. We know bullseye is at Groom Lake. And we believe that we've got tanks surrounding the town of Alamo. So I'll grab my trusty heading tool and I'll go from Bullseye out to Alamo. And that shows it at 75 degrees at 29 nautical miles from Bullseye. 75 degrees, 29 nautical miles. So what I would then do is get that call from AWACS or from my wingman or from my lead and I would create a waypoint. I would select 075 degrees at 29 miles and I would plug that in in the magnetic heading distance using LSK right 2 and then I would want to create a waypoint using LSK right 3 which just created a waypoint that I believe if I come down here to waypoint and type in MSN008 and rename that Bulls target that I would find that waypoint to be 75 degrees northeast from bullseye 29 miles and if we were to go up and select that waypoint bulls target there and let's come down here to our tad and let's make tad soy and we'll scroll up to bullseye and if we look here, that 75 degrees, uh, mostly east, but kind of northeast, almost directly northeast of Bullseye, or east of Bullseye, is our new waypoint, just south of Alamo. And if we get closer, we can see Alamo right there. And that is the general area in which the tanks were located. And we were able to make a bullseye waypoint from our bullseye.
And that's it. That is the offset menu. It's pretty simple to use once you know what it is you're doing. But you can uh, go on the blue flag uh, multiplayer maps and you get a lot of bulls calls and plug those in and find your targets using the bulls offset. But you can also do it with anything else. Like if you want to practice your landings at Nellis, but you want to go 10 miles out from Nellis, you just uh, do Nellis as your waypoint. Runway heading is 21 uh, or if the opposite, 3. So you would do bearing 003 for 01010 miles. And now you've got a waypoint that sets you perfectly in line with the runway at 10 miles. And then you do another one at 5 miles. And now you have this perfect flight path to get you right on the runway so that you can practice your landings by using offsets from Nellis or offsets from Creech or finding targets uh, offset from Bullseye. Uh, it's very, very handy to use and uh, something that you definitely need to get into um, your repertoire. Same as adding coordinates, G UTM coordinates from JTAC, uh, lat long coordinates from JTAC, plugging in waypoints on your own. This is how you navigate in the A-10. And you can also see that I have Bullseye turned on we are 156 for 43 miles from Bullseye uh, because we are southeast of him at about 43 miles. All right, uh, that's it for Offset. Join us next time when we finish up with Flight Point Management. And um, that'll be it. We have explored every single item within that CDU. Uh, some of it was a bear. Some of it may not be correct, but... Um, if there are issues, I definitely want you to let me know about it so I can get them fixed. All right. Uh, see you next time. This is Recon Stewart. Take care.